I was first introduced to St. Ignacy Brinchininov's writing in 2011. That was the year that my husband felt seriously ill. He'd been struggling with heart disease for 36 years. Here's the person who had given me strength most of my life, and now I was in a position where I had to give him strength. I found in Brinchininov's writing the answers to a lot of very serious universal questions, how to deal with illness, how to deal with suffering, how to deal with loved ones who are dying. It felt like he was talking to me. The letters were personal. They were addressed to people in the church, to friends and family, and I felt that there were times when he was addressing the very issues that I was dealing with and that my husband was dealing with. One of the reasons I decided to translate the letters was that I wanted to share what he had to say with my family and friends. He's really teaching us through his writing, through his letters, to find peace in moments when we are under great distress. Ignatius Brinchininov was the oldest son of nine surviving children in an aristocratic family in Russia in the 19th century. The young man very early decided that he wanted a monastic life, but his father and mother did not wish it. He yearned very much for the tender love of his parents, which he did not get. Instead, he spent a lot of time outdoors, and so he uses the natural environment to create analogies, metaphors in his writing. The title, Harbor for Our Hope, was given as a, an extract of one of the quotations. The editors of Holy Trinity Publications keyworded the letters according to certain topics, which makes it all the information highly accessible. In fact, I don't recommend that these letters be read in one or a short sitting. You can take your choice, let it uh, percolate, and benefit that way. There was a passage that resonated for me uh, because it not only reflects the title of this collection of letters, but it comes back to the subject of the meaning of our life on earth and, and the meaning of suffering and afflictions. And here he's writing to his brother Peter, who uh, was under some particular strain towards the end of his life. And he writes to Peter, a Christian is like a ship. And a Christian life, among other men in the world, is like sailing a ship on the sea. It's impossible for a ship to enter the shelter of a calm harbor without first undergoing the arduous journey on the high seas. So what he's saying is that we must live, we must struggle, we must suffer before we can enter the quiet harbor of the next world. It's a universal human problem. How do you face not just illness, but life-threatening illness? And people were often confused, uh, without answers, what do I do? Well, Brinchininov has answers. He had a lot of time uh, to think about things because a lot of the time he was ill. When he dealt with illness, he had a way of telling us that this life is temporary. Brinchininov is saying, God loves you. And when he sends you struggles, it's because he's trying to perfect you. And he, he wants you to be at your best when you come into the next world. Until you submit to the will of our maker, our creator, you do not have the strength to bear the suffering that your life will give you. And everybody will suffer to some extent. Everybody is given a cross. And Benchanina gives some answers to how to carry that cross. I received a personal message in, in all of these letters, and that is peace of mind, a hopeful heart, and 
a joyous anticipation of the future. I'm hoping others will also.